our vision for Key Stage 3 Geography and right the way through to A-Level is to really engage and enthuse our young geographers with the dynamic world in which we live. Our curriculum builds on knowledge and understanding they've learnt at Key Stage 2. Things like map skills, numeracy, geography is an amazing subject because we are kind of taking on a huge amount of the curriculum, not just within our subject. We ask our students to think metacognitively. We ask them not only to draw on their prior learning, but also to think about what they may have learnt in other topics. When we teach ecosystems, we might ask them to draw on information they've learnt in science. When we look at dynamic populations, we might ask them to think about um, some of their maths. We learn about how the world works, but as geographers, we understand the importance of applying that into the real world. Always in the news, try and bring in kind of really relevant case studies. Um, some of the hurricanes in America recently. If a recent volcano or earthquake has occurred, we really try and bring that into classroom to really bring geographical learning to life for them. Something that's happening right here and now and ever changing. For example, in the UK, um, we're seeing a bit of a shift in kind of urban patterns. So when we do kind of our urban futures module, we can talk about that. In lesson, we do a lot of assessment through mini quizzes, and that tends to take the form of what we refer to as a jog your memory quiz and that brings in past learning so that students remember to refer to that as well as allowing us to see how our students took in the lessons that they've done already. A lot of discussion tasks, a lot of question and answer sessions and a lot of self-assessment and peer assessment. In geography we have three formal assessments throughout the year and these are aligned throughout the trust so everyone in the Tapton School of Academy Trust will be doing the exact same assessments. The class teacher will then mark the assessments and do a follow-up lesson so you'll have a whole lesson focusing on your assessment. In the classroom we do a range of different investigations through field work. In year seven we go out and explore the local area looking at the environmental challenges that we face around Forge Valley. In later years we go to the River Porter. We look at how the river changes from the source and as we travel downstream. Wonderful to see how the field work techniques improve throughout the day. By the time we get to the third site, all of the children are in the river taking all the measurements we need. At GCSE, we have two trips out to the Peak District looking at the human influences and the natural changes. Most excitedly in GCSE, we have a trip to Italy. We go to Sorrento near Naples. We go up Vesuvius, the only active volcano in mainland Europe. We go to Pompeii, Ercolano, and have time in Sorrento as well. It's an amazing trip. We spend about three or four days out there. Everyone absolutely loves it. We do homework a little bit differently here. It's a bit more kind of independent. The onus is on you getting it done at home. For every topic, you'll be given a little card and it has eight to nine tasks. There are a real range of tasks. We try to get some creative ones in there. It might be making a 3D model of a volcano, writing a diary entry, making a leaflet, answering some retrieval questions to boost your knowledge. Our department is taught by enthusiastic teachers who really want the very best for our learners. We are really proud to say that a couple of weeks ago we were awarded with the Secondary Geography Quality Mark by the Geographical Association. 